Fair. Um. Alrighty then. Extracting the files. Alright. Um. Cool. Oh, and let me very quickly grab. I made a sad, like, fake TIFF file that I can just paste in here so we can use. I didn't realize until I put the end that they had all Oh, they totally don't. I didn't require them to be TIFFs. Um, sometimes TIFFs just open better on these computers, but I found the silly hack where if I open a generic TIFF file, I can then scrub through. So you're totally fine if you do PNGs. Um, all right, cool. So and you, uh, were you doing the, the, the old Western train scene? Yes. Sweet. Um, all right, so I still have that like bag of names if no one says anything. Um, I'd love to not use that. Uh, so again, just like a reminder, um, stuff to look at is like how does the, the lighting look? Um, does it highlight the scene well, like difference between day and night lighting? And then um, do the models, textures, and then overall layout of the scene feel complete and reasonable for the space being made? Um, so with that all rehashed, um, does anybody have any thoughts and comments just scrubbing through these pictures? Shoot, oh, you guys can just call out at will. Like inside? Yeah. It'd be cool to see, like, maybe if you added blinds. I don't know if they had those back in the Western town. Yeah. You could make some sort of cool like, version of that. But just to see light coming through the window, it feels like there's a lot of empty folding space. Yeah. I can see that. Yeah. Um, one thing I forgot to mention um, so if we go over your stuff in class, um, since that's going to be like probably like eight to ten minutes of just like hardcore crit per assignment. Um, I might summarize some main points on like when I give you your grade on learn, um, but I'm probably not going to like rehash everything because that's super redundant and takes cough forever. Um, so if we're going over your stuff in class, like pay attention, maybe take some notes to, to remember things. Um, but yeah, so um, question. So I know this is like a low poly scene. Did you, was this uh, Unity render or Maya render or? OK. Um, yeah, so I agree with that. I think maybe this could also potentially be one of those cases where um, you could use the HDRI. So this is the night render. Um, so that you could use like the HDRI for um, getting the color of lighting you want, and then maybe turn it off in the render and sub in uh, some kind of other image that uh, is maybe a little bit sim like closer in exposure to the the inside of the image, if that makes sense, or the inside of the, the station. It also looks like the texture on the clock might be missing in this one. It is? Oh, yeah, yeah, good point. Weird. Fair. No, I, yeah. I can't see it at all, really, on the projector, but it totally, it does show up on my screen. Yeah, you're right. Um, yeah. Um, all right, cool. So any, any other comments? Uh, what was the theme for this room? Yes, sir. Yep. Um, I feel like in the scene that had the window, I thought it would be good if you had a um, directional light and uh, a little bit of um, shadow and confusion. Um, so it would show, like, the scene would be more dramatic. Yeah. I feel like this would be a cool scene to get, to get some atmosphere in. Sometimes, like, the fiddling with the settings is, like, crazy finicky. But yeah, I mean, if that was, like, something that you could do that would look really cool. Um, incidentally, if you guys are ever doing game stuff or like game assets, you can totally cheat that kind of lighting with just like a giant card with like a ray of light coming in. Um, there's like some codes that you can do to kind of like orient it to the camera so you don't like scrub past or whatever, but yeah. Anything else? I don't know why some of these get squished, but what is, um, what is this thing here? Yep. Gotcha. Um, all right. I feel like some of the, uh, the the ticket booth in particular. I think one of the reasons I asked is because the. 
um, the the texture is so dark, like even on my monitor, that it's kind of hard to see exactly what it is. Like I assumed it was some kind of ticket booth, just like based on the context of um, me like knowing what the scene is. Um, but I think maybe it could be lit up a little bit better, or the texture could be tweaked in a way that um, it's a little bit more visible, or potentially even change the camera angle. So if there was like somewhere like a sign that said like tickets or something like that, that would help. Um, get across the idea of what it is. And also, if you did put a giant sign that said, like, tickets, um, that could be, like, another object to sort of populate your scene with as well. Yeah, which it, that, oh, the, the like gotcha, that makes sense. Um, and I assume this one was more about the, the little stanchions than the, the ticket thing as well. Yeah. Cool. Um, That's fair. That's fair. Um, yeah, I mean, that's like reasonable. I think it, in this case, it might have made sense like to help um, to add a little bit of context to the scene if that was like more visible what it was, um, if that makes sense. Because uh, like, <laughs> like this, I definitely get sort of like waiting room area. And then I don't know, it just kind of, I guess, makes me wonder like what, what the line is for, if that makes sense. Um, so I think, I think in general, maybe there could be a few more things in the scene to sort of help maybe contextualize it. Like it feels, certain areas feel a little bit empty, I guess. Um, and one thing that honestly you could do to fix that or like um, tweak that without a lot of effort is potentially just changing the layout of the space and or shrinking the space. Um, so maybe instead of, and I guess this is like a little male, male thing here. So. Um, I'm thinking maybe instead of having like a bunch of chairs here, you could sort of like narrow the room down like this and have fewer chairs, so that when you render those chairs, um, you see more of like the walls and the other objects in the scene rather than like a bunch of empty floor and wall space, if that makes sense. Um, and it would still be like a functional, visually compact way a space. Um, and are these like little lights on the wall? Aha, closer render. Cool. Um, Tiff. I mean, okay, so I see, okay, in the night lighting they're doing stuff. It seems like maybe, are they textured or? Okay. It seems, it's a little bit hard, at least for me personally, to like tell what that texture is. Um, especially like in the daylight. So it seems like maybe maybe that could have possibly a little bit more detail added in or like pick a pick a different material to try to replicate maybe um, and that would help sort of sell that idea that those are that those are lights um, yeah anyone else have any thoughts or comments or stuff things mm -hmm. yeah Yeah. No, I would agree with that. I do think the floor tiles pretty well. Yeah. Also, like, were the were the benches your object? Sorry. Were the benches your object? No. Okay. Um. I think. I mean, I think yeah. Like overall, like the scene looks pretty reasonable. I think I could just maybe use like. A few more objects here or there, and then potentially some of the bump maps and a few of the renders look a little bit intense. Like um, the walls look a little intense. I think in this render they're fine, but then like in this one when you get up close, uh, you can kind of see the the bump map gets a little bit more aggressive, and then the texture also starts to like lose a little bit of resolution because you're closer to the wall. Um, so that might be something else to look at. Uh, and then same comment for the bump map. I think for the um, for the ticket booth as well. Um, I think actually one thing, so if you, and again, completely up to your discretion whether or not you want to actually do this. Um, if you did, if, blah, if you did shrink the room, I was looking at these lights and I'm like, these would probably end up hitting or like highlighting your objects since they'd be physically closer to the light um, and potentially highlighting some of the other interesting features of the scene, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, so I think that'd be like my main comment. Just maybe like 
see if there's other ways to, to populate your scene or um, even customize the wall texture in a way that where there's like scratches, dents, maybe there's like peeling wallpaper or something like that that would help also add visual interest to the walls without even adding more objects to the scene. Um, and maybe fiddle a little bit with um, some of the lighting stuff as well. Um, yeah. Cool. Any other comments? Cool. Um, and then you said you had a final and you wanted to, to go sooner? OK. Um, what is your name? I'm so bad. Uh, Sorry. It will say like Daniel. OK. It's really, I go by DJ, so. Gotcha. Um, Haha, -ha, the thing. Cool. Thank you. Have a good Thanks, you too. All right. Haha, -ha. tiffs. Sweet. All right. Um, all right, and same with the old Western theme. Um, anything we should know, um, like things you updated, et cetera, before we go into it? No, I don't think so. Cool. My initial reaction is like, the walls tile better. And then I'm like, now I'm super happy. Um, but yeah, so anyone else have any? Um, cool. All right. Anyone else have any thoughts or comments as I randomly scrub? Shoot. Um, Yeah. I would also I would tend to agree with that. How how did you do the windows? <laughs> okay. <laughs> um that would potentially be worth going through and just you could even honestly like break up if that's just like a plane just like hanging out in the back, just like extract it and add some transmission here. Um and then throw in another like something behind it. I do think that would help. Um, I will say you did a pretty reasonable job for the most part getting, if you threw like area lights in here, um, you did a pretty good job backing them up right against the window so there's like a very negligible little seam where there's like behind the light where it's not <laughs> rendering. Um, but yeah, I think that, that would help. Um, I was, that's a, yeah, I was like wondering, I'm like, why is there like red reflecting into your light? That makes a lot of sense. Alternately, you could potentially cheat it. Uh, with extreme aggression and just instead of texturing gray here, texture just like a background on. Um, I think having extra windows might be better, but I think at least a textured background would sort of help sell that, that idea that it's a transparent object. Um, yeah. Anyone else? Chairs. I don't know what it is about the chair, but I do enjoy the chair. Are they? What kind of? For a minute, I thought they were like little clear plastic tack pins. And I'm like, what the heck? Um, cool. I like that you actually included the tack pins like in the in this render. Um, but yeah, so I mean, I think um, like you definitely did go through and like again, kind of take into some of the feedback from from the last crit with uh, like the tiling of the wall textures and stuff like that. That looks like way nicer. Um, I think maybe, and I think to me, I think the space looks like reasonably filled. It seems like maybe there could be some stuff like on the walls like here, um, maybe like a few more wanted posters. You just sort of like use the existing one you have and like do a retexture on it. Uh, maybe like change the bottom shape a little bit so they curve differently. Um, or do like weird ads for like strange Western jobs. I don't know. Um, but yeah, I mean, like the scene feels like it's, you know, I guess a believable little space, um, believable layout. Where's the door? Where is the door? Uh, there is one. Okay. <laughs> um, perhaps, I do remember you having a door in the past. Gotcha. Um, so technically, a door was a requirement. Um, I would recommend, for the sake of realism, uh, perhaps adding a door in should you decide to do resubmit for this. Um, it kind of reminds me, if you've ever 
you ever played like Roller Coaster Tycoon, you put like a do not enter sign, you just like trap people in there, and I'm just like, ah, oh, what if you just like dropped people in from the ceiling and then they just sort of starved to death in the train station. Um, anyway, sorry, weird tangent there. Um, but yeah, so a door would be nice. Um, maybe, I don't know exactly where it makes sense. Honestly, you could probably, like that wall that I was like, like here maybe where it like looks where it's like oh it kind of looks empty you could just like throw a door in there oh, okay. and then it seems like that would have hopefully reasonable flow where like people could kind of come in and like go to the ticket counter and not like bunch up all super crazy next to it i don't know um like all the ice cream places that like can't do layouts but yeah so honestly like i wouldn't necessarily say you have to go in and like you know have it open and have like a bunch of lighting in it but i think it would be nice just like have a door in the wall at least um and also some molding. Honestly, like at this point, you could just clip the door through the wall. Um, but yeah. Um, and I think kind of a little bit the same comments as the last one, where it might also be nice to get some. Uh, what am I? What am I going for? Uh, maybe a little bit of variation in the the wall texture. Like push that a little bit farther. And again, get some areas that are maybe there's like damage done. Uh, maybe someone shot up the ticket booth to like rob mail or something crazy. Um, uh, I'm thinking of uh, Red Dead now, but yeah. So like, I think a little bit more variation because I think you have like the bones of a scene, um, and you could just maybe push some of the texturing a little bit farther to sort of tell a story within that scene, um, if there was a way that you wanted to, if that makes sense. Mm -hmm. um, and then I think maybe also push the the day versus night lighting, because um, it feels so like where where are the I mean obviously. Windows, but like apart from that, where are the sources of light in your space? Uh, it's sort of um, the skylight. Okay. Yeah. Like the the dome light. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, do you have a ceiling on here? Uh, I hit it for this. Um, okay, but it, for the rest of them, is there a ceiling? <laughs> uh, like, like in these renders or in the um, scene? Present in the scene and renderable as you are rendering these images. Oh yeah, I mean, it's renderable. I just had it hidden because I didn't want it to be blocking the, the way for the top down shot. OK, yeah. Because um, I was going to say, like, it feels like it feels like there's a very diffuse light. Like, it almost feels like there's no ceiling in here, um, where the light is just sort of all coming down, like very diffuse from like gently through the whole ceiling, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, so I was going to suggest maybe adding some, um, if you don't have a ceiling, like cap a ceiling in there and then pick like a certain type of lighting fixture or something like that, um, that you could have maybe featured in your renders. That would also help out visual interest, um, where it'd be like really obvious where that light was coming from. And then in your night renders, having that be visible uh, would also help to sort of create a different feel to your scene. You could really use that to like push the color temperature since you don't have daylight in there. Okay. Um, and I think that would also help sort of differentiate, again, like where the light is coming from in the scene, if that makes sense. Um, but yeah, anyone, anyone else have any comments? Thoughts, questions? All right. Um, cool. Anyone else want to volunteer their project to go next? Cool. Uh, I saw your hand first, and this is, thanks, you too. Super terrible. What's your name again? Gus. Say again? Gus. Gus? Yeah. Okay, thank you. Okay, cool. Um, doo -doo -doo. All right. Cool. Haha, -ha. a sad TIFF image. Um, all right, cool. Anything we should know before we go into crit? Um, the day renders are a bit noisier than the uh, night renders, not sure why. Interesting. Uh, but, but, uh, gotcha. Up the, uh, yeah. But, uh, that, cool. I definitely think the, the, what you did here, and it looks like you did get some like glow or like a mission <laughs> of some kind going in there. Yeah. Um, oh, really? Like, yeah. Yeah, that's cool. All right, well, whatever you did, it seems to be kind of glowing, which is interesting. What did you do to it? Honestly, I made a gradient in Photoshop and then just slapped it on there. Just slapped it on there? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I mean, it's not like I'm going to 
just like lucky. Did you like add a clear code or something? What the heck? Okay. Gotcha. Yeah. Right. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> yeah. Fair. Yeah, I don't know what you did, but it, it does at least at least the top part, not so much the bottom, but like this definitely has like a more glowy effect. That's very weird. Um Gotta love happy texturing accidents. Um, so that, this, I'm looking at, I assume like this is sort of the noise you were talking about for the day renders. Um, it looks like maybe that would be a thing. There's two things I can think of. One is bumping up the samples in the individual light, because it does seem like most of those samples are in the shadows. Um, alternately, uh, if your walls don't have gloss, you could potentially try just like upping the overall diffuse samples in your render settings. Uh, and that might help as well. Um, if none of that helps, feel free to send me your files, and I can take a look at that if you if you want. Um, but yeah, cool. All right. So, anyone have any thoughts and comments? Anyone? Do I need to dig in my bag and find my weird bag of names? <laughs> All right. I'm gonna dig in my bag and find a weird weird bag of names. Um, so as I do that, uh, I think I, um, which objects were, were yours again for this scene? Mine was the, the schools. Okay. The the cool. Um, yeah, so I definitely feel like the, um, the stools and, I know the table's not yours, but like they match in style. So like, I think the, the stools and the table are probably the strongest part of this scene. Um, in terms of just like overall modeling and the texture as well. Um, pulled out every bag of names except your class. Uh, <laughs> and I really like you had, I think it was like the first render I pulled up, but you had like a really cool render, Tiff. Um, this, where it was like kind of like abstract, still very obvious like what it was and even like what the space is just from the chairs, which I thought was like kind of a fun and interesting render angle. Um, Haha, -ha, I have found the bag. Um, but yeah, so I think um, the, so were the, the booths someone else's object or just like yeah, quick filler thing? Okay, just someone else's, fair. <laughs> gotcha. Okay. Um, oh, I see, like with the. Okay. Um, but yeah, so I mean, I was going to say um, it seems like. Um, I think out of, all, out of all the like additional furniture stuff in the room, I think the, the booths maybe don't quite work as well with, um, with the rest of the objects in terms of like texturing and then like also style, like slash level of detail in, in the models themselves. So that might be something where. Um, I, I I say this like with the with the realization that it's not your object, um, but you guys are welcome to to sort of you know modify things or whatever as needed. Um, so that might be something to sort of look at if you want to fiddle with this further. Um, and then also, at least in this particular render, um, this is like really overexposed in here. Um, is that it? Actually, looks like that might be from the from the lighting here. Okay. That's just the way the sun. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Right. Because um, you have this like cool sort of like nice lighting and shadow effect going on here. Actually, question: Did you use portal lights for this, or no? I don't think so. Okay. Follow up thought for lighting: Add portal lights. It'll probably reduce a lot of the noise for the daylight stuff. Um, the bit with that being um, so the. Uh, if you just have like a dome light, it's going to render, you know, light from behind this wall. So like technically, this entire wall is like in shadow from a large part of the light. So it's calculating a lot more stuff than it needs to. Um, using the portal lights, it's basically sticking a colored area light right in front of the window. So instead of rendering this whole thing in shadow, it's only rendering light coming through that wall. 
So conceivably, it will both speed up your renders and also help reduce noise. So protolites, they're good. Um, but yeah, so anywho. Um, all right, now that I have my bag, does anybody else have comments? Hmm? I think it looks good, but maybe put texture on the walls. Is there? The walls have a very faint texture that probably doesn't sound right. Yeah, you can kind of see it if you zoom in. Um, yeah. Oh, I see more mess than yeah. Yeah, yeah, the projectors are kind of like trashy sometimes. Um, but yeah, I do actually kind of, there is some part of me that like, it kind of looks like a sad like basement retro diner. And I mean that is like, I actually kind of like that as like a direction for a diner where you just sort of like get an old bingo hall and you're like, it's been my dream to make a retro diner. Let's do it. I don't know if that's what you were shooting for, but like that's totally the vibe that I get from this, just based on like kind of the the wall color and the ceilings and stuff like that. Um, but I think it's it's an interesting aesthetic, whether or not that's what you're going for. Yeah, but I don't know. I kind of like it. It reminds me of playing bingo when I was like seven. Um, but yeah. These guys. Yeah. No, I do think they look nice. They have a nice like little variation of um, like scratch marks and stuff on them too. Um, again, like in the close-up render. Um, one thing you could actually do is maybe go in with procedural texturing if you wanted to, and like add in a little bit of like rust and grime and stuff to them. Um, that would. I don't know how dingy you want to make this place, but I was gonna say it might be like interesting mimicking stuff like people have you know spilled a beverage or something on it, and it's the sugar has like somehow corroded the metal. Um, also, I just noticed that these. Uh, what am I saying? A, if you get this close to your texture, it gets maybe a little like fuzzy and low res on the sides, um, which I just noticed. But I was gonna say like the, I don't know. These seem like really dangerous to sit on. Like this is a very small base. Um, yeah, it's fair. Fair. I guess. I think, like, honestly, I've, I'm pretty sure I've sat in an IKEA chair that's very similar to this, so I would buy it. It just seems hazardous. <laughs> um, but yeah, and then is this, uh, I take it, uh, night lighting, is this just like a really dark image or is. Say again? It is. Okay. Maybe. Yeah. I was going to say, it might be worth, like, comping something into the background, because um, that does feel, at least in this particular render, maybe, like, a little bit aggressively dark. Um, I do like this diner sign. I still keep looking at it and be like, no, it's spelled wrong. I'm like, nah. Um, but yeah. Oh, do you have like two sets of doors? But yeah. Um, one thing you could also maybe consider is, um, I know a lot of times, so I'm, I'm looking at this and it just occurred to me that like, you see pretty much the entirety of the room, and there's like two sets of doors, presumably like the front doors over here, and then um, this, which I assume is either to like a back room or like a bathroom or something like that. Yeah. Um, so one thing you could do is maybe add a sign to this. So if it's like bathroom, put a bathroom sign. Um, the other thing you could do to maybe add some uh, additional visual interest is um, pop in another door. I know a lot of times in diners, there'll be like those like little swinging doors into the kitchen. Um, and I'm, I'm certainly not saying at this point, like make a whole kitchen, because that's ridiculous. Um, but you could conceivably like add in that door. It might, in case people stare at it for this long and then they're like, oh, there's no door to the kitchen. Um, and it would also help kind of like fill in wall space. But um, I think the other, other random thing that I also like literally just noticed is the light positioning, like the pendant lights feel really random in where they are in the space. Um, so it might be it might make sense to like put these and like center them over the tables and like put one over each table kind of thing, because um, I look at this and I'm like oh there's a random light behind a door, in a corner, um, which feels kind of strange. Again, like once you notice that that's a thing. Um, it also might be nice to get some if you have time to like throw in some like salt and pepper shakers or like table stuff. Yeah. Um, I think that would definitely help the overall feel of things. And again, maybe um, like a bunch of like posters or like records or you know things again that have 
you model it like once and then you have just like a giant retexture of it and you get a lot of mileage out of it. Um, would be maybe good to consider for like the wall area and stuff like that. Say again? Yeah. Um, yeah, but as long as you're not like zooming up to the side and being like, look at this card, it's a card. Um, totally fine. Um, but yeah, it's definitely cool. It's like cool to see the scene populated since, since the last time we saw it. Um, I like the sort of dirt road in the background. Like, this kind of works for me. Um, but yeah. Anyone else have any thoughts or comments? All right. Cool. Uh, anybody else want to volunteer the project? Cool. Um, David? Is that? Oh, wait, no. Sorry. Say again? Uh, OK. Gotcha. Sorry, I was like looking at you from the back without my glasses. <laughs> Uh, all right. RJP? I think. Uh, ah. Last delete things. Sorry, keeping myself organized. And they're TIFFs. Huzzah. Cool. All right. Cool. Um, so, anything that we should know before uh, we do crit? All right. Oh, that is a good point. Um, all right, cool. Uh, did you just submit your thing? What are your initials again? Uh, RS. RS. Ah, oops. Uh, all right, let me go find that in Blackboard really quick. Ah. Where am I going? Shoot. Five seconds. All right. I don't know why Blackboard like didn't download half of your files. That's kind of annoying, but whatever. All right. All right. So while that's downloading, it's taking a few seconds. Um, let's just like look at this one since it happens to be pulled up already. Um, so whose project is this, and is there anything that we should know about this before doing stuff? Uh, I cool. <laughs> Yeah, it does, the lighting does have a very, like, very overhead feel to it. Um, all right, cool. Um, but this is, again, like, still old Western train station that we have going. Cool. Um, all right. So anybody have any uh, thoughts and comments on stuff? Shoot. I like the texture on the floor. Like, the scenes you've got and stuff. Yeah. I think it I concur. I, it, like, I wonder what the stains are, but I do like that they're there. Did you did you give me thought to like what caused these stains? Mm. Okay. Yeah, I was gonna <laughs> I was gonna say it definitely looks more like blood or ink spatter, like very aggressive like blood or ink spatter. Um, I think if you were going for dirt, um, let me see if I can find any pictures of like it. I was gonna look up dirt floor. I'm like that's not what I want to Google. Um, but I think what you'd probably want is less like spatter marks and more just sort of like tannish gray dust. Yeah. Um, yeah. Which honestly might be something you could just sort of like make in Photoshop, like grab the UVs from your floor and then just like add. Usually it'll be like a bunch of it like right around here and then it'll sort of like fade off um, into the distance like where, where people are walking. So I think that would be, again, just probably easy to do in Photoshop. Um, and then this was also rendered, it looks like in Maya. Yep. Cool. Um, but yeah. And then, I mean, the, I would also say watch the noise. Like there are defi there's definitely like a lot of noise in this. Um, it looks like this one, you might just need to take up the overall diffuse samples on that. Um, but yeah. Um, cool, anyone else? Do I need to call names for my? This one. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I would agree with that. I think 
Um, you could also probably just like seam your UVs together in a way that that would um, seem a little bit better. I think in this one, it also seems like the scale of the, the wood might be changing between both parts of the wall. It's a little bit hard to tell, but like this one, the, the gaps seem like way thicker than they do on this piece. Um, so that might be something to, to look into. Again, if you see it in renders, um, if you don't and you want to just like change this render angle, that would also kind of solve the issue. Cough. Um, but yeah, no, that's a good point. Um, anything else? I feel like, what do you guys think about like the day versus night lighting? So this is day and then this is night, obviously from different render angles, but. Yeah, I feel like I feel like the night could be pushed a little bit more. Um, I do. Yeah. Yeah, grain. Grain sucks. Um, the this one. I feel like it looked more like night if you saw like the window is pretty bright. Yeah. I wouldn't know this is night. Mhm. Yeah, I would also agree with that. Um, how did you do? It look is this is this. I think I, I think someone in one of my other classes used this image as well for the background, um, but it looks like just sort of like a starry like night photo. Yeah, it was like I had two different HDRIs. Okay. Gotcha. Gotcha. Um, yeah, so that might be a thing where you just want to like um, set that visibility in your HDRI down to zero for the camera, so it just won't render, and then you could throw in whatever background your little heart desires. Um, I think I said the same thing in my last class, but like the if you see the whole thing of this, it totally reminds me of that like the X Files opening, like that last scene in it before they like start doing actual show stuff. It just like has a very similar feel for some reason. Um, but yeah, so that might be worth um, looking into. I think the other thing that might be interesting is kind of like the same thing I think that I said for the other um, little like Western. Uh, seen so far where it might be interesting to get in some like really defined light sources uh, that would sort of help differentiate either in color temperature or like very obvious light placement um, the difference between day and night um, I think honestly for not having a roof on this scene like you could play this one of two ways you could just be like aha this is just going to be like a outdoor space because I do Honestly, for like an outdoor, you know, sort of like corner, I'm imagining like the ticket booth is inside and this is just like an outdoor waiting area. This lighting totally reads. Um, it does, again, again, you mentioned you didn't have a ceiling and it kind of becomes obvious because you have like this really aggressive shadow coming down from like everything. But yeah, um, I do, I do like, there's like certain stuff like here where there's, you get the, um, the light kind of coming across, which is interesting. I think if you um, perhaps added a ceiling and then fiddled with the, the lighting in a way where it would like come through the window and sort of like recreate that effect where um, you have like, again, kind of this interesting thing where you have like this really bright shadow with this like pretty hard shadow. Um, that is kind of cool. Uh, and it would be interesting to see if you could recreate that with uh, a more realistic architecture read with a roof. But um, yeah. But yeah, I think maybe night lighting could get pushed a little more. But I think overall, again, it feels like, to me at least, it feels like a fairly cohesive space um, in terms of usability. I think, oh, OK, this is like that little, OK, cool. Yeah. Gotcha. The, the gun, the what in the barrels? The chair, the chair that got him. Oh, OK, cool, cool, cool. Um, I do I do like the direction you've gone in with the like very sort of exposed wood. I think in certain areas, like right here, it looks like there might be a seam in that. Yeah. Oh jeez. Yeah. Wait, why are they two different objects? Ah, uh, it probably would have been easier to make them as a single piece. <laughs> um, interesting. Uh, cool. But yeah, and I think 
I think honestly, like the fact that you don't really show the walls in like most of the renders, it doesn't really give them the opportunity to be, to look empty. Um, it doesn't really look like there's anything on the walls, but like again, you don't notice because the way you've set up the renders. Um, I think maybe for shots like this, if there's a way to like target the lighting over, like sort of pick a thing that you want to highlight. Because um, in this case, for some reason, I look at the barrel, but it's like large and in the middle of the screen. That's like the first thing I notice. Um, I'm assuming it was supposed to highlight mostly like the cash register. Um, so that would be maybe another instance where for daylight lighting, if you wanted to kind of like shine a light across that and maybe just like pushing closer to the cash register honestly would like solve that issue. Um, but I do think like it's kind of, it is interesting like compositionally because you have this sort of like shape that um, leads your eye around like once, at least for me personally, I stopped fixating on the barrel. Um, but yeah. I think all the woods different like work pretty nicely together as well, um, in terms of like you know finish and like overall they have they have a similar worn feeling to them, uh, which makes it kind of believable and cohesive. I think. Yeah. Anyone else? All right. Um, but yeah, so I mean I think if you if you wanted to you know do anything more with this, I would focus on um, lighting. And either making this dirt texture or just being like, screw it, there's a murder scene. Um, and then trying to use lighting in a way to, to highlight the focal point of your renders. Um, and I have the other one pulled up. Um, fun fact, so yesterday, uh, one of my students, they did like a, a child's bedroom and I opened it up and I'm like, dear God, everything's covered in blood. I think they got angry with their project and they just like turned it into a murder scene last minute. Um, but it was quite funny. Um, but yeah, so I am, I am open to you turning it into a murder train station if you want to. All right, cool. Um, all right, so these are open. Um, EXR, so we gotta look them in Photoshop. Um, but is there anything that we should know about these uh, before we do Critique. Cool. Um, what space were you doing for this? Um, yeah, or like was it? Gotcha. Cool. That sucks. Wow. Low poly game. So yeah. All the details are basically the normal maps which are not working anymore. Gotcha. Uh, Honestly, so if I put them in, everything just turns back. I can send you the normal map after. Yeah, if you want to send me your project file, I can take a look at that. That does sound weird. Um, did you render this with Maya or uh, Unity? OK. Um, well, I'm just gonna throw it out there. I think even without the normal maps, it does look like like just the existing textures you have on there, I think look quite nice. Um, I actually didn't realize that there were no normal maps on anything until you said it, and I was looking for it. Um, I'm very much a fan of this, by the way. Um, but yeah, so which, um, which objects were yours and which were your teammates in this? Uh, I was oh, okay. Oh, right, right, okay, cool. Um, all right, cool. So anyone have any thoughts and comments on any of these? Uh, yes. Uh, where's forehead? Night ones. Yeah. I do, yeah, I really, also like, I just like consistently, for some reason, my favorite part of this is, this is me being eccentric, but I really like the texture that you put on these um, little cabinets. Like the way it's like very clearly supposed to be painted and then you've like chipped away at it and um, revealed the metal underneath. And I think with the, the lighting in the scene, it does a good job sort of showing off the detail in your texture maps where um, like in this one, if you look at it, um, you do get a little bit of light like shining off those reflections in there. Um, so like I think uh, this is a good example of like lighting 
combining with textures to, to make a nice sort of realistic effect there. Um, yeah. Where, um, are there, how many walls does this room have? It's got three and a half. Okay. Right. But then I realized that if it's an abandoned building, there won't be much electricity for ceiling lights. <laughs> so I just throw down one wall halfway. Gotcha. HDR. Fair. Um, so that's why you see that shadow at the bottom, that's actually a half wall. Piece of wall. Okay. Okay, so interesting. So I like I like the backstory behind that actually. Um I think what might be an interesting angle, this would be like a little bit more work. Um, so I, my, my initial thought looking at this is that um, maybe this was like two, maybe three walls, and there was just like, it was just missing a wall. Um, and I just sort of assume that it wasn't put in for ease of lighting. Um, so one thing you might consider that would make this look really, really cool, I think, is actually modeling it. I don't know how much of that wall you have modeled, if any, but um, modeling like that little broken piece of wall and actually including that in one of your renders. Um, it would give a little bit more like to the story of the building, like uh, it's literally crumbling and falling apart, um, but also help to sort of show, justify, and like explain why the, the lighting is coming into the room in the way that it's doing, if that makes sense. Um, you could also, if you wanted to, um, if you remember the, the poly paint stuff um, with like the little procedural plants, they have ways that you can basically like draw vines onto walls and stuff like that if you're going for like an overgrown look. Um, Actually, it was originally there. Okay. Uh, I am more comfortable with previous maps. So okay. I started making it and I had uh, the Ivy Max, which worked great. Right. And then I couldn't expose it to OVJ. Ah. So that's a Max specific plugin. That sucks. And then I started learning edition. It's okay. So I'm working. Right. I tried the PFX ID. FBX? Yeah. Yeah. But wasn't looking that way, so I just Gotcha. Weird. I'm actually curious if you happen to have them and you want to send them to me, you're welcome to. Um I have never I've never actually played around with Max. Um But yeah. Um, also, it does it does look like um, this table might be clipping slightly through your uh, through your shelves, and it looks like maybe it got shifted down because this looks like it's floating a tiny bit. Like for as much as this is clipping, it looks like this is floating. So I think just translating that up a little bit would would fix that. I yeah, I I honestly I do that all the time, and then I like do all my renders, and I'm like no. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think like for a low poly scene, like the texturing and stuff like that definitely holds up. Um, yeah. Anyone else have any other thoughts? I like the glare on the computer screen. It's cool. Is that? Do I need to pick someone? I'm gonna pick someone. All right. I'm opening my sad baggie of names. Um, all right, Mike. Do you have any? Wait, you do this all the time. You've said like more than most other people. Ha. Siler, hast thou thoughts? That was um, weirdest way to phrase that, sorry. My thought? Um, yeah. I really like this game because it really reminds me of um, like those old games. Yeah. Which they don't really have the normal map. Um, mm -hmm. Yeah. No, I think, it's a, I think it's a pretty nicely set up, like scene and lighting and stuff. I, I would agree with that. Um, I also like how the blinds are like all sort of like different and broken over here, um, but in, in different sort of varied ways that it makes it more believable. It's sort of like falling apart. Um, one thing you might actually do if you just are like bored and want to keep playing with your scene is like take some of these and like either make them broken, maybe make some of them like hanging partially off. Um, as if you know one side's broken and the other side's not, or just like change the 
uh, the rotation slightly, so like some of them are, are blocking more light than others, that kind of thing. Um, but you know, I mean, I think like, I do think that like overall, this looks pretty nice. Um, I think the only other thing I might suggest is like maybe, maybe pushing closer for some of your renders and like um, get up closer to like, you know, the broken TV screen and stuff like that. Um, yep. Yeah, I was trying to avoid that because <laughs> normal mask for that. Oh, okay. Just no detail there to see. Gotcha. Like, uh, my hero object is actually the watercooler. Okay. Which was basically sculpted. And it's clear now. Right. So. I mean, if you want, if. Right. I mean, I wouldn't be like terribly afraid um, of that. I think also, like, if you want to, if you can get the normal maps working and you want to um, do a resubmit, like, that would also be, again, completely fine. Um, yeah. Um, what what I'm thinking is, um, if you already have the books on the shelf, maybe you can like rotate mm. them. Like, this mm. is a random office. It won't just stay here. But it seems like it's forever. So maybe you can have some on the board or on the um, whatever you want. Not just like all on the field. Also a valid suggestion. I like it. Cool. Anyone else? I also like that you've actually included outlet covers, like, you know, plugs and stuff. It makes me happy. Always like a nice detail that like ends up getting forgotten about. I forget them all the time. Um, all right, cool. Last call for comments? All right, uh, anybody else want to volunteer their own project? Uh, what's your name? Jake. Jake, okay. If I was gonna guess, I would have gotten it correct. Um, but I could just be saying that. Who knows? Um, all right. So, you'll notice that if you give me a name, I can usually find the initials at this point for whatever that's not worth. Um, all right, room. Haha. -ha. All right. So, anything that we should know uh, before looking at this, or no? Um, cool. Um, and then, which uh, I think from, from last week. You were do, like doing the the desk and the oh. pedestal, the box, and the table that's in this one, not the clock or the bookshelf. Okay, this one. Uh, yeah, right there, the granite top. Sweet. Um, and it looks like you've done like fancy wallpaper with like shininess. Cool. Um, all right, cool. So, anyone have any just like initial thoughts and comments looking at stuff? Yeah, I do think like, yeah, if you could find a way maybe, um, maybe even like additional lighting in the scene to like pop out some of the details. Like, in the, I really I enjoy the render angle of this. It's super creepy. Um, I think if maybe there was a light like next to him that was shining a little bit of light on his face that would really sort of help to pop it out. And you still get that moodiness, um, but a little bit more of the detail highlighted in your hero object. Yeah. So I ended up turning down the intensity and that tended to solve the problem. I mean also bumping up the sample mm -hmm. a lot. But it uh, definitely made it dark. Like I had to take a lot of using to post and bump up the lighting. Right. But um, I couldn't find a good way to balance that. That was definitely the main issue I had. Gotcha. How long did your renders take per frame? Yeah, wow. Um, it depends on what kind of angle. I try to make very smooth and remove as much outside of the camera angle as I possibly could. Right. Just as him being there. Gotcha. Um, did you did you have any kind of like subsurface scattering or anything like that in your scene for like the marble or anything or? Yeah, for the marble. Okay. Definitely. I was gonna say because that would definitely bump up render times. Mm -hmm. um, yeah. Tiff. Gotcha. Gotcha, gotcha. Um, but yeah, cool. All right, any other thoughts? Mm -hmm. I'm, a, I'm a little confused just because I think your textures are great and the room looks very clean, but like there's nothing in it. And I'm just a little like, what is this supposed to be? Uh, yeah, it's definitely. Sort of be initially it was like an office or library, mm -hmm. so the very simple stuff that's kind of out of view, it just didn't make any sense. 
Gotcha. Those shoes are really cool, though. Like, I love this feeling. Yeah, that's a nice weird touch. Yeah, it's the weird Sistine feeling. Is that part of the Sistine? Yeah. Okay. Um, if you guys ever go to the Sistine Chapel, it looks so incredibly cluttered in person, in my opinion. It's like it's like a very talented child just like scribbled on all of the walls. Um, it is. Um, anywho, I digress. Um, but yeah, so I was gonna say, I think that would be like my main, if you wanna um, total with the room, if there would be a way to like add some more stuff in, um, be it picture frames or like furniture, that would be, I think, um, probably the most beneficial thing that you could do. Um, I do really like the the weird detail that you've done with like, I don't know, I can't find the renders now, but like sort of here, like where you've extended the ceiling, where you have like the molding and then like an additional ceiling up here. I think that's yeah. very weird, but like an interesting detail that I kind of like. Yeah, I saw that in a couple of rooms when I was looking for reference images. Yeah. Um, one thing you might consider, and again, I have no idea if this holds with the reference, is um, even just like grab a different wallpaper texture for like this top part, that could potentially add like a little bit of, of variation um, and sort of help give additional detail there. Um, the other thing I was thinking of, I, I do agree that like the textures do look really nice. Um, it still seems like the wood grain on this might be running the wrong way and possibly here as well. Um, I do think the wallpaper being shiny kind of like creates cool interest with your lighting. Um, but there's one, where is it? Right here. Um, if you do did like a really quick roughness map um, for the for the floors here, so that because like you get this really really sharp highlight, which I think honestly look looks pretty darn cool on the floors, um, but the fact that it's going over the grout as well is like a little bit strange. Yeah. Um, so I would just like maybe go into Photoshop and again just like put a little quick roughness map on this. Um, if you wanted to, you could make a little bump map for it so that the the tiles were like slightly beveled. That would make the floor look super cool and also add a little bit more visual interest in a relatively cheap way um, that would help the floor feel a little bit more realistic, I think. Cool. Yeah, there is a bump on it, but uh, a rough map is definitely helpful. Yeah. Oh yeah, I see maybe a little bit of the bump right here. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Cool. Um, yeah, I think with the, with the roughness map, like combined with the bump that you already have, and if you actually, if you have the bump already, mm -hmm. it'd be super fast to make the roughness map. Um, yeah. Um, you can also maybe like, Populate with stuff like rugs. Um, other thing that I've been thinking of, uh, except rugs are a pain to texture, but you, you seem to have done well with the velvet here, so meh. I um, actually kind of wish that showed up in the render, cause, or in well, like your environment renders, because that was like it nice looking be velvet. The, the one, like the additional render of the furniture. Uh, the oh, yeah, yeah. Gotcha. Yeah, um, I was just, I can't tell. These look maybe maybe a little bit dark. Um, kind of dark. Um, <laughs> um, but yeah, so the other thing that I was going to suggest is, um, I mean, it, it would require a little bit of like reuving the walls and stuff like that. But if there was a way to like shrink the room just like physically smaller, mm -hmm. you would need to populate it with less stuff to make it feel complete. Um, also, I think either repositioning, you mentioned there was like a bookshelf, which I think I remember from last week. Um, I think. Yeah. Right. Right. Yeah. I mean, that would be like one thing where like that would also totally add visual interest um, to the room if, if it was like rejiggered in a way that that showed up somewhere, maybe. Um, since you have it available, like why not use it kind of thing. Um, also, the door looks a little bit shiny in this one. Yeah. Um, I think the bump map and stuff is nice. And it, it sh definitely shows up well with the shine, but maybe a little bit too shiny. Um, I still really like this render angle. It's terrifying. And also, it makes me like want to, like, I want something here that it's like looking at. There were lamps on that. OK. But uh, they were really low poly and Gotcha. Gotcha. I was thinking, yeah. No, that makes sense. Um, that would also maybe be nice to like, uh, some additional lighting features would totally add, it would make your night lighting pop a lot and it would also add more interest to the walls as well. Um, especially if you like have ones that are like half done, you can sort of like just finish them up and 
throw him in. I was thinking it'd be really funny if there was like a platter of cake here for some reason, and he's just like, I want the cake. Um, yeah. I have terrible suggestions. Like, you should l not listen to any of those, like, really off the wall ones. But um, for some reason, it just, like, would be funny to me. Um, but yeah. Anyone else have any other thoughts and comments? All right. Cool. What is, is this just, like, a dark, OK. Looking at this again, so I, I like the dark wood, like, accent things here. Seems like grain of wood might be running possibly the wrong direction, maybe. Um, and I almost want, like, I kind of wish this were lighter, because I feel like in certain angle, like, right here, it's like a really bright room, and it's still, like, pretty dark, um, which I think matches with your furniture, but it still seems like this is, like, significantly darker than the rest of your furniture. It is the same type of furniture. It is, it's, it's the literally the same wood texture. Yeah, so well, hot dang. Kind of try to keep the mess, but it is going the wrong way. Yeah. It yeah. It comes up to, like, uh, oh, like an arch on the ceiling? Yeah. Yeah, it sounds like there's a lot of interesting stuff in here that's just like not shown. <laughs> yeah. Um, but yeah, so I think, yeah, those would be my comments. Maybe just like rejigger stuff to make it feel more like a like real space, if that makes sense. Okay. Um, yeah, I do think like textures do look nice. Um, all right. Where is my cursor? All right, anyone else want to volunteer the project? Cool. I should know this, Mike. Yeah. Yes, good. Haha. <laughs> I'm like, I literally just called your name. I'm like, I should remember what your name is. Um, cool. So, anything that we should know uh, before looking at your scene? Not really. Cool. Um, run through the day lighting and then just run through the night lighting because it's going to be easier to pull up that way. All right. It looks like, did you get the stained glass working? Um, kind of. OK. I got it looks clear, at least. Doors, and then there's some on the wall. I got the ones by the door to work. OK. I was going to say, it does, it does at least look clearer than last yeah. week. I think the other one is just because there's too much light in the room that it doesn't really cast the Right. Yeah, it's always hard getting the shadows to actually like show up. Yeah. Um, this is a very heavily embossed Bible. <laughs> um, what is this? Bitters. Is this an actual label or like what is this? Um, I just got it off Google. Fair. Like I just looked up Victorian beer label. Fair, fair. That's honestly probably what I would have done for that too. Um, all right, cool. So any thoughts on this? Is just just a folder with the daylighting. Um, anyone have any thoughts on this? Why is that one chest piece so far away? I don't know. Wait, where? Like one the of the chess pieces is like on the other table by the Bible and stuff. <laughs> um, just because I wanted to put, I felt like there wasn't enough on that table, so I just took one of the chess pieces. I love it. Over there. Yeah. Amazing. I honestly didn't even notice that. Um, that's quite funny. I think. I mean, I think this is like a really like believable space where it feels like some crazy messy person like me lives in it, but with like much more expensive taste in furniture. Um, but I li like, you know, the details like having this open, um, having this like cabinet open, where's my cursor? Um, like, it does a good job, like it shows that you actually like did stuff in here. Is this just like a giant diamond? What is yeah. this? Dear God. Um, well, all right then. Um, but the fact that like the chess game is half played, um, the, I think, th if the papers that you've added just like here and all over the floor totally makes it seem like this guy left in a hurry after drinking a bunch of random Victorian spirit. Um, I mean, I think like overall, I think this is certainly laid out as like a very successful looking space. Um, I even like, honestly, I don't, part of me doesn't hate this seam because wallpaper has seams. Yeah, I part didn't notice that until after I read it. Yeah, I thought story of my life. Yeah, I was going to say, so the logical part of my brain is like, this is how wallpaper works. The other part of my brain is like, in Victorian times, wallpaper was super expensive. And I feel like they would have yeah. put in more care doing it. There's also a scene here. Uh -huh. <laughs> so 
Like, if you happen to go back in and like do you know resubmit, I would probably fix that. It okay. would be it would be an easy fix. Yeah. Um, but yeah. Um, also, it looks like you also did so, like some of the stuff with like the shiny wallpaper, um, or no? No, it's just cool. Just texturing stuff. Cool. Um, I think I think what stands out the most in the scene to me as maybe like not quite fitting in with the rest of the stuff is like this picture frame. Yeah, I think the thumbnail is too <laughs> intense. It's a little intense, and then this compared to everything else is like a little bit shiny, I think, and maybe overly yellow. Um, like I think, uh, like I really, I like what you've done with the chandelier. Like, how did you end up resolving that? Um, for being honest, I don't. Re I did <laughs> so much to it, um, and also there is totally fine. The, I didn't realize this until after mm -hmm. the displacing that clipping through part of the chain. Of yeah. Oh, um, story of my life. That's why I hate displacement yeah. maps. But I think. <laughs> I think what I did to fix it was like originally the transparency map, the displacement, it was also on the inside of the dome and ah, I got rid of that and that helped I see. it through better. Cool. Um, yeah, I mean it definitely looks it kind of looks like a lava lamp. Well not like not like a lava lamp, it looks like a lamp made of lava. Um, but in a good way. It was really difficult to get that anywhere near what I wanted. Yeah. To the point where I didn't even know anywhere what I wanted. That's fair. You're just like, this This looks yeah. decent. But, uh, yeah. If you ever need a texture of like hot glass being blown, repurpose this. Yeah. Because that is 100% like what this top part looks like. Um, but yeah, so I think like, again, the things that I'd probably like look at the frame. Um, it looks like there's a little bit of pulling I just noticed here on the shutters. Yeah. Um, if you're feeling fancy, you could maybe go back in and like add a um, slight roughness map to that. Nothing crazy, but just like a little, because you do have those nice highlights on it um, that would help sort of show up, show subtle texture detail um, and maps and stuff if you had them there. Um, and then again, I think I think kind of the same thing here um, for this guy, where it's like a little bit, a little bit intense and perhaps too too shiny for the rest of the stuff. Like I think I think these guys look pretty nice. They kind of match with like the wall and the overall feel of everything else. Is there? I'm also curious. Is there any like ran, Is there like a story behind this chess set, or is it just like? Um. Just random positioning of things. No, not really. Cool. I know, yeah, no, I just know some people get like really into chess and they're like, oh, I had this like one specific game. <laughs> and I'm like, cool. Um, they just had the Last Supper just casually here. Um, but yeah, anyone else have any other random thoughts and comments? Mm -hmm. I do, I, like, also your render angles are super nice. Like, they do a good job just, like, getting down, like, showing important stuff and, like, getting down. I actually really like this one because it's, like, look at this bust, but also, like, hey, lots of nice little paper details and stuff in here. Actually, if you get this close, the, the bump map on the paper looks maybe a little intense. Yeah. Um, but this is a cool angle. I do like it. Um, Tyler, did you, have a, did you have a thing? Um, I think you said it. Oh, sorry. <laughs> Gotcha. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, I think overall this is a nice, successful. Honestly, this is like a really cluttered room, but in a very functional way. Like, yeah, I should organize my office like this. Um, my office is horrifying. Um, I think the weird. This is like a dumb thing that's like really silly comment. Oh shoot, this is just the day renders too. Hang on. Um, but as I say, the only thing that feels like maybe weird to me is having, I wouldn't put a chair right in front of the stairs, yeah. but that's just me personally. There's still plenty of room to get past that. Um, I would not care about that at this point, I think. Um, all right, night renders. No, don't replace files. Aha. All right, and night lighting. Cool. Um, I, like, I like the sort of like subtle glow you have here on the windows for the night. Um, all right, so anyone have thoughts on the night lighting version of this? Anyone? Mm -hmm. I like this little light here. This is actually what reminded me you had night lighting. 
Um, I like how you've actually gone through and like made it transparent. Oh. That looks cool. Um, I actually feel like maybe there could be. So, as like a weird note, like I think some of the textures, like the metal textures again from the frames, maybe show up a little bit intense in the the night renders. Um, specifically, like this one, this frame is like super crazy yeah. shiny here. Um, but I do think, for the most part, like it does a pretty good job of sort of having a having a dimmer feel. It actually almost feels like. Do you have any additional lighting on this guy here? Um, no. Okay. I was gonna say it, he also feels like weirdly bright, maybe for the for the scene. Same with like the white and the clock face, but that could also just be because it's white. Um, but yeah, I think I don't know if there's like a whole lot I would change about this. The other th I'd, mostly I'm just like I think this light is really cool. I think it would honestly be neat to have like more of them just sort of around. There's one on the other side of the doorway just didn't show up in the right. Later, yeah, but I mean I was even thinking like. Um, Oh, and like one like right here, you mean? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. I mean, I was thinking like, might be interesting to like have some additional lighting here or something. I don't know. Uh -huh. I'm just sort of take that with a grain of salt. Um, but I'm just like, oh, it's a really cool light, and you have you did a nice job sort of like calibrating it. It'd be kind of cool to see other stuff. But yeah, I think these I think these pretty much hold up. There's just like a few areas that maybe look a little bit bright and or blown out compared to the rest of the stuff. Mostly mostly this stuff in this particular of the render. I do have a question though. Mm -hmm. For the, um, the AI app, is there a way to make it so that it only affects certain lights? Or Because I tried to experiment with that, but even setting the density to like the lowest setting, like <laughs> yeah. zero, zero, one, the whole thing is <laughs> out yep. white. Yep. Um, so there are, if I remember correctly, in each light setting, like you know in each individual light where you adjust the um, the environment samples yeah. for light. Um, I could be wrong. I think if you set that to zero, it basically treats it as if it's just not affecting the, the so fog at all, the, the environment samples okay. in the individual lights. Oh, okay. um, alternately, you might be able to go in to, um, you might actually have it in the light linking tab. I've never checked for it there. But in the, where you also go in, if you go into the attribute editor for the light like with the Arnold mode, um, you can turn off like cast shadows, all that stuff. You might be able to switch us uh, something off there to, to have it turn okay. off as well. Yeah. Um, do you have fog in this scene? No. Or no? Okay. Because <laughs> it was exploding. Too much. Yeah. The settings for fog are like really fiddly. Sometimes it works great, and sometimes it doesn't. And I just okay. haven't fiddled with it enough to like troubleshoot. But yeah, sometimes fog is very strange. But yeah, I think overall, the super nice looking scene. Um, you have nice clutter. <laughs> um, but yeah. All right, last comments on this one? Mm hmm? Maybe it could be the uh, one with the bottle, the night scene. Uh, this one? Yeah, I'm just wondering, uh, is it a sonic or is it a um, <laughs> uh, hollow? Uh, the bottles are hollow, and then inside of it is like a cylinder that's like, I looked up the IOR of like beer. Nice. And made it transparent. And, uh, OK, I see it now. Yeah. So it's like mostly filled. Yeah. Oh, uh, that is why I was, I was saying um, it looks kind of solid, but. Um, like this bit up here? Bottom, it really shows you have like the size. So. Yeah. yeah. I was kind of confused. I think the. It looks like the top of the bottle might be a little bit too thick. Yeah. I think so. um, you might fix that. Mm -hmm. um, it might possibly be more trouble than it's worth, but yeah. Um, I do, it, they are nice bottles. Like, I think that's pretty much the only thing I would change. I actually like that you put, I didn't even notice until just now that there was like actually liquid in this. I think that's a nice touch. And also that you Googled the index for fraction of beer. What was it, do you remember? Oh, um, not off the top of my head. Fair. <laughs> I would honestly be kind of surprised, but yeah, cool. Anything else? All right. Anybody else want to volunteer the projects? Cool. Maggie? Yeah. Yes. Ha ha. I've only had some of you for two quarters. Um, I'm learning very slowly. Uh, OK, so uh, all right. MKP? Yeah. OK. Uh -huh. All right, anything we should know before looking into the renders? My day renders and night renders <laughs> and then I realized last time that I had Dash Face Culling on, so like uh. when I deleted the faces, it only deleted.
manipulating the in in like indoor faces. Ah. Uh, the faces on the outside were still there. I see. So then I went and deleted the faces on the outside, and light just still didn't feel like coming in. Interesting. From so, the windows. Yeah. Is I'm this going with the excuse that it's a basement? <laughs> so. I mean, you, you captured basement field. Did you check the opacity of the the whole object itself, yeah. or okay, and that was set to be opaque? Yeah, yeah. It's really. I'd That's super weird. I can take a look at that if you want. Okay. Um, if you have your files. Cool. All right. <laughs> All right. So you made. I think, you like didn't make the gramophone, and there's like a gas mask somewhere. What yeah. objects did you not make in here? Um, the bed. I didn't make. Okay. But there were a lot of things that like I would make, and then Lucas would texture. If it was okay. Just yeah, like trading stuff. That's fair. Um, all right, cool. Yeah, so like creepy, sketchy basement. All right, what do you guys think? This is a fun render. Is this low poly or did you? Is this just not smoothed? I think it's just not smooth. But fair. When I went to smooth it last night. Lucas goes, no, don't do it. <laughs> 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 yes. Yeah. Can we train earbuds? Um. Um, but then my name was mentioned. But wait, why is she allowed to smooth these? So just pull the like. I did not say it's that. Like they are, no, they are smooth. I made the chains, and there's edge loops on the oh. thing. That is smooth, I'm pretty sure. All I right, then. Just, um, I don't think they're I, yeah, All right. Either way. Well, either way. Probably very similar to that. Fair. Um, all right. I assumed it would. I assumed it would pull one of those errors, like the ah, oh, you're gonna smooth like a bunch of polygons. Are you well, sure you want to do it? it? Um, yeah. Um, I like all these old vintage posters, by the way. Nice. They're fun. Um, but yeah, cool. So anyone have any thoughts and comments? The lighting is really impressive. Yeah, you, you got a nice fog here. I think this is actually one of those instances where, like, you have a little, like, you have some definitely, like, light beam fog, but, like, the overall, like, the whole thing being super foggy is, like, actually kind of gives a little bit more, like, additional ambiance to the scene. Which does look nice. <laughs> Blind luck is acceptable. Yep. That is 80% of my texturing. Um, there is no shame in this. Um, actually, so I literally, like, when I was at school, they had, like, DreamWorks people come in and they asked me about one of, uh, they were, like, you know, interviewing to see what the program was like. So I showed them some of my stuff. Um, and they asked me about one of my sims. They're like, was this intentional? Like, how long did this take you? Like, was this intentional or did it just sort of like magically come together? And I was like, uh. And they're like, it's OK if it magically comes together. Like, that's awesome. And I'm like, it magically came together. So yeah, don't be ashamed if things like randomly work and you don't know why. <laughs> yup. <laughs> um, I still really like these bottles. And like, I think you, you did a nice job choosing render angles that like show things off in a dynamic, interesting way. Also, your lighting does a nice job, like highlighting certain stuff over others. Um, I think if there's like one thing that stands out in terms of like maybe just like modeling, it might be this blanket. It's so small. Uh, actually, I was gonna say because it feels really stiff. Yeah. It feels kind of like. Bath Did they have bath mats back then? I don't know. <laughs> if they did, it definitely wouldn't be on a bed. That's a fair but point. I, yeah, I was playing around with N cloth and I came out with that. Gotcha. And Fair. From this particular angle, if you wanted to be goofy, turn the mattress into a hamburger and this into a piece of cheese. I think it would read. Um, but yeah, so I mean, I think that's the one thing like might be worth like fiddling a little bit with um, if you if you go in for a resubmit. Like, I think the texture is fine. Um, honestly, I personally didn't notice the scale. Um, I just think it kind of it sits a little weird on the bed. Yeah. Um, and then also, it might honestly be a, so I'm looking at this and was this, did you play with any of the settings for like tension or anything like that or like stretch resistance? No. Okay, so this is just like default end cloth. Yeah. Okay, and these I are, what I was doing. yeah, fair. Um, so I was actually gonna say, I don't know how high res these are, but like looking at the tablecloth, it's, it looks like a little bit of the same thing is happening. Yeah. I would, I think you might actually just need more polys in this. Oh, okay. Um, because a lot of times, and the reason I say that, so a lot of times if you're doing end cloth, if you look at um, like the sort of corner bit over here, um, if it pops up on the corner, it kind of is an indication like there's not enough geometry to like wrap it properly. Mm -hmm. um, so I would maybe try it again, 
usually default settings are decent for cloth or like tablecloths, and just add like a crap ton more geometry. Um, yeah. Also, really like the way you laid out like the table mess. Like the there's a render. This is a fun, fun, silly angle. Um, uh, this. I don't know. Something about this just feels like really organic to me. And I, I very much am a fan of this particular I, render. I wanted this basement to be really creepy, and I wanted to go back to work for my creepy dad. He got out of the army. And he's nice. Really creepy. Yeah. And then I added this picture thing, and I was like, this is just such a sweet man. <laughs> yeah, And then I was like, he would never just walk on a bare dirt floor. He needs a carpet. <laughs> and I just kept going. Nice. That. That's kind of funny, though. I like it. Yeah, you totally need more geometry in the sand cloth. Yeah. Um, <laughs> um, but no, that's like I, that's cute. I do I do like that backstory. Um, My other issue mm -hmm. with, like, with just bringing things in in general, because I didn't find this out until this week, I actually modeled my entire scene upside down. <laughs> so every time I brought something in the Maya, I was like, this is so weird. Why is it upside down? Oh, no. It wasn't. That's weird. It's really hard for me to work in my upside down. I don't know how That's funny. It. I really have a skill with doing things it's by true. accident and it coming out weird. Ah. Um, take away, Ken. But, uh, yeah. I mean, like, honestly, like, there's not a there's not a whole lot I think I would go back and like look at for this. I think overall this is like a pretty pretty successful just like well done well lit scene with a tiff. Um, yeah. Anyone else have any comments? All right. Yeah. Good stuff. It's a nice looking project. Um, all right. Anyone else want to volunteer? Cool. Uh, give me five seconds to delete files. Um, uh, this is not you, is it? K S. Okay, I think I might have. I might have grabbed yours. Is it just called fire? Oh, I just downloaded like a real person. Um, oh yeah, yeah, okay. I remember the things that you have told me now. Cool. Um, all right, so while it's downloading, um, in the interest of time, if that's cool, I'm just going to grab another random project because I realized that we are actually running out of time. Um, all right, so I'm just going to randomly start going through uh, projects at this point and just sort of look at things in whatever order I grab them. Um, ah, good. The pillow project. <laughs> this is now how I remember this. <laughs> um, if you ever have me in the future, I'm never letting you forget this pillow. Um, wait, this is your reference, Niagara Renders. Um, aha, you have made your own TIFF. Um, cool, so anything else um, from last week, et cetera? Is that there? All right, cool, you said that's so creepy. Um, all right, so cool. So anyone have any uh, thoughts and comments on this? Oh, I really like, can you go back one? This I one? I really like this, like, outdoor sort of, like, looking in. Yeah. No, I was going to say, that is, that is a nice touch. I do appreciate this angle. Um, I will say it is a little weird that you your environment swaps so aggressively from, like, pink beach scene to, like, city skyline. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. <laughs> ah, it's okay. Um, yeah, honestly, I mean, doing, yeah, that's fine. I see you've gone and added some extra, like, messy stuff in the room. Um, that's cool. Yeah. So I mean, I still think overall, like this is pretty successful. It looks like, um, did you, your li like certain lightings, like this one definitely looks different. I just don't remember why. Like, did you? So what did what exactly did you change with the lighting? Ah, so it just looks paler. Right. So I had a um, all my resin farm. 
Yeah. Um, and I accidentally put the um, file type to PNG. Mm. So uh, it's gonna get Gotcha. Honest? Yeah. It's money, so I don't want to redo it again. That's fair. Um, I mean, I was gonna say, I actually kind of like it. It feels believable in terms of like extremely backlit, like blown out lighting. It also looks like, are there like extra maps on the couch now? For like bump and stuff? Hmm. Um, I could just be remembering wrong. Um, but yeah, I mean, I still think like overall, like this is pretty successful looking. Um, I do like this extra little balcony you've added in. Um, weird, tiny nitpick. Is there a handle on this door? Or is this just like a unaccessible balcony? Why? <laughs> Why tease someone like that? The sign was like, since you have like a, um, like the department, departments and uh, a skyscraper or something. Mm. Yeah. Oh. So like it shouldn't have, you shouldn't be able to go outside. So my origin, original design was just a wall with um, glass. Gotcha. It, it makes you want to go outside. <laughs> no, that's a fair justification, though. Um, it still feels like maybe there should be a handle somewhere, maybe. I think if you do anything, maybe consider adding one. Um, but I, I, I do respect the justification of, like, they probably don't want balconies on extremely high skyscrapers in cities um, for assorted reasons. But um, yeah. Anyone have any, like, thoughts, comments, stuff they like, think could be improved, etc. Nice little shelving unit. Um, I mean, this is like another, there's like not a whole lot of stuff. Like, I think, like, again, overall, this is a pretty successful scene to me. Um, I think the lighting is like really nice. Um, you, do, you do good stuff with making, I think, using lighting as like a feature of the room to add visual interest without adding a bunch of additional like stuff to the scene. Um, so I think that's like pretty successfully done here. Um, interesting render angles. This one's neat. I, I also like that you've turned the TV on and off, and I, I see now that you have added this thing from your previous assignment in. <laughs> nice. Um, and the Moogle has come in as well. Um, but yeah, I mean, this is like an, excuse me, another one where like I don't have, ah, new desk. Um, I don't have a whole lot of comments for this, because I think like overall, it's just like pretty nice looking. Um, I still think maybe the part of this that um, doesn't quite hold up as much is the bed to a certain extent. Um, and honestly, that could just be because like I know that these like this pillow has like a lot of baked in sort of folds in it already. Um, if you have any like actual folds in the model of the sheet or like displacement maps, I might just like not be seeing them because of that texture of the sheet. Um, which honestly, like, so is there like any other like additional stuff on this? Okay. Yeah, I think I just lose that because of the texture of the sheet. <laughs> Why? <laughs> um, you just, you enjoy tormenting me. Um, but yeah, so I mean, I think like, like I said, out of everything, I think the wrinkles on the bed is like, probably holds up like less than I think the other things do. Um, but I think that's also just like kind of your eyes playing tricks because of the, the texture on the sheet itself. Um, but yeah, all right. Anyone else have any thoughts or comments? Cool. I still like the lit, uh, like SAO pictures. Always a fan of that. Um, cool. Well, that was fast. Um, all right, so we have Kai, your thing is done downloading. Let me extract this. Wahaha. So how much time do we have left? Great. All right. Still extracting? I'm going to keep extracting files. Haha. -ha. Um, all right. So this one is extracted first. Sorry, Guy. I'm just going to keep going because I, I just realized we have like a bunch of projects to get through. Um, room renders. Day renders. All right. And somebody, OK. It's here. <laughs> um, 
super scatterbrained with my opening things. All right, so anything we should know before looking at things? Cool. This is a, this is a neat, I don't know why, something about this is like appealing to me. Um, all right, so anybody have any thoughts or comments on any of these renders? Oh, and your space was like, Sort of. Uh, bigger version, like okay. Yeah, like this one. Yeah. Cool. I think the the bump maps definitely look a little bit. You took down the intensity on these. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think that definitely looks more realistic. Um, still very much a fan of this little metal bound band here. Also, the whatever whatever texture this is feels right with your scene. Um, but yeah. All right. Cool. So any thoughts and comments? Do I need to pick a random person? All right. Opening my sad baggie of names. Um. Ha. Huh. Is he out here? Wait, are you here? Hello. <laughs> any comments? So I caught the, I didn't catch the very last part, but I do agree that the lighting is neat. Um, yeah. Oh, <laughs> convenient. The witch. Yeah. Um, it looked like in the individual renders there might have been like a little bit of texture stretching, but I feel like for the most part the globe does hold up pretty nicely as like a you know giant antique globe. Um, I do also like what you've done, like the detail on the ceiling I think is really nice. Um, it ties in well with the the light and then the, also the way that you have light coming out from that fixture also helps create like more visual interest on that ceiling because of the way that it's sort of falling and the color is also quite nice. It's like maybe a little bit low res in here. Um, I still like how aggressively you've like destroyed this globe. Um, but yeah, I don't necessarily. I feel like if I were setting up the room, I'd probably like take this desk and like have it face the wall, and then like put the chair backwards, maybe. But that's kind of like it seems like it would be hard to get into the desk. Yeah. Yeah. Hmm? Yeah. Okay. Um, yeah. The 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 ten by twelve. Um, I thought I mentioned this before. A lot of people have been asking about it. Um, but it was like more of a soft requirement, so you didn't go and do like whole ballrooms that you're like, oh god, I can't finish this. Uh. Um, so it was more just designed to keep the space a manageable size. Um, but yeah, if you want to tweak that, you're welcome to. Um, but yeah, I, mean, I think that I like the rug texture you have. Actually, it's like super disgusting, but has like a very specific feel. And I mean disgusting in like a good way. It's like one of those like gross carpets that's like really sort of like thick and fuzzy. Oh no, I think it looks like lasagna for sure. Tell me what? Me. I had to tone it down a lot because the floor was way too bright, way too bumpy. Interesting. Um, and you have the sort of like lasagna theme colors going on on the walls here. Um, it's okay, I understand. Um, but yeah, I mean, like, I think overall, like, this is pretty successful. Um, you have, even though there's not, I think, a lot of stuff on the walls, like the the render angles that you've chosen have done a good job, sort of like camouflaging that and creating visual interest. So, like, in this one again, it's a good example of like clear um, foreground and then middleish background and background kind of objects. Like, it, it draws your eye nicely through the scene. Uh, and I don't feel like there's, it's like super weird to not have stuff on these walls. Um, I think most of what I would look at for this, um, it's a little bit hard to tell the difference between day and night lighting. I do like this like yellow. You have like a little bit of yellow reflection on the head. That's nice. Um, 
But it might be worth going through, maybe seeing if you can like either punch Knight down and make it like a little bit more aggressive, um, like really use the highlights from the light to sort of highlight areas of your object, um, or do something where you go into the daylighting and maybe add like really bright like beams of light or something like that to like really enforce like, hey, this is day, there's a bright light source coming through, and also use it to highlight certain fixtures of your room that you like. Um, and then apart from that, I think um, it looks like there's like a few areas where there's like some maybe weird artifacting happening on the door, um, and also down here that I might look at. Um, other than that, I mean, I think like the render angles and stuff that you've chosen are, are pretty nice, and the light does like a good job of creating like a, a space that feels like pretty realistic um, in terms of just like atmosphere. Yeah. Anyone else have any thoughts? All right. Final call. Were these books anywhere in the room, actually? Gotcha. Gotcha. You could also do a thing where, like, like old furniture, but maybe someone installed those little puck lights in it, so you could like light up the inside of this. Um, it would definitely help show off the books and also be like potentially an interesting focal point for for the night lighting. Yeah. Cool. All right. Um, anybody else want to volunteer their stuff? Sweet. I think I have extracted most of your stuff anyway. Is this? Uh, I have. Huzzah. And they're tiffs. No. They're tiny, squishy tiffs. Wait, why is this one? Ah. That's stupid. <laughs> Um, all right, give me like five seconds to close all of these and then I will put your things in Photoshop. Close better. No. And then I will actually uh, look at your files. Cough. All right. Huzzah. Um, God, the pillow again. Why? Um, <laughs> will forever be like a weird thing. Anyway. All right. Uh, I'm just going to start off off the bat. Uh, I do like what you've done with the lighting since last time I saw this. Um, what is this? Um, but yeah, so all right, any so here's the night renders. Um, nice. I like the giant like pride flag in the corner. Um, all right, and then day renders. Cool. All right. So any thoughts and comments? Or is, wait, is there anything that we should know before looking at this? Because I don't think I asked. Cool. All right, thoughts and comments. I do very much like, this is cool. Um, I mean, yes, with the pillow, but like the way the light is interacting with the objects is quite nice. Um, gaming in progress. I like, I like this corner too. Like something about this just feels very like intentionally cluttered but like in a good way. Um, so what have you done for lighting in this scene? What have you done for lighting? Like where, um, okay. Gotcha. All right. So I think I was going to ask because I was going to recommend um, if you don't have one, use an HDRI. Um, did you try portal lights with it? Gotcha. Um, so I think somewhere, I think I actually have like real like labeled videos that talk about portal lights. Um, we're using Arnold for this. Yeah. Okay. Um, but basically, it just goes over. Um, Portal lights basically are like an area light, except instead of just being a generic color, um, they pull information from your dome light behind it. So basically what they do is um, a lot of times they'll speed up your renders and also make them less noisy, um, just sort of because of the way that area lights calculate stuff. So if you're having issues with noise, you could totally try a portal light for that. Hmm? Really? That's weird. 
Um, I, there's like one, there should be one on like the Grumpy Allison teacher YouTube thing um, when I went over in class. Um, I think, yeah. Usually it's just tutorials about like how to set them up, I think. Um, that's, that's fair. To be fair, I think the one that I watched to learn about them was in Spanish. Um, yes, with like the classroom scene, that is fair. Um, I did I did take a certain amount of Spanish, so like that wasn't prohibitive in that case to me. But yes, um, if you guys have questions about portal lights, um, shoot me an email and I can like do an updated tutorial about that if you want. Um, since apparently all of the other ones are in Spanish. Um, yeah, I like portal lights. I think they're cool. Um, but yeah, so if you, I was going to say, where was I with that? Lighting, HDRIs, yes. Um, so if you don't want to use an HDRI or like it's still with portal lights, it's coming out too noisy. Um, I might say maybe change the color temperature of the lights. Um, so I know like in some of your, your night lightings, um, you have like, um, it looks like the yellowier light coming in from the door. Um, again, this does like a nice thing where it like sort of highlights the bed um, or like does like interesting things with the lighting. Um, coming over the bed there. Um, and you have like the, the multicolored lights behind the computer. Um, it feels like the daylighting is like overall just like I guess a little bit gray, if that makes sense. Um, now if you're shooting for like overcast sort of cloudy weather, I feel like that makes more sense. Maybe it would be a little bluer or something. Mostly I'm just gonna get like color temperature of light. Yeah. Right. Mm -hmm. Oh, by far. Um, and I think, like, I think that plays well in this render. Um, maybe slightly less so in some of the other ones where, like, the the desk and the lighting on it is not visible. If that makes sense, because um, then everything feels like kind of flat. Again, mostly just like to me personally. Um, does anybody else have thoughts on the lighting? Like color temperature, et cetera? All right. Um, anybody else have thoughts on just like, I think the room layout is actually like pretty nice. Um, but yeah, I mean, does anyone else have any thoughts on like the space in general or? So help me, I will pick a name for my sad little bag. All right, you've been like participating this whole time, but if you want to go for it. <laughs> oh, for the for the computer. <laughs> gotcha. All right. Anyone else? All right. Um, Rashab, do you have any thoughts? I can go. Let me know if there's like a specific render. It does feel like a functional space, like not well designed per se, but like totally how I would set up a room if I like don't know how the heck to set up a room, um, or I'm just like in a college dorm. Um, it does feel like maybe if you're looking for extra stuff to put in, um, I was looking here. I'm like, it seems like this may be a good idea, good place for like a trash can or something like that, or like a clothes hamper, um, perhaps, or like maybe there could be some stuff up here. Um, but I think overall, like. To me, this feels like a reasonable space. I still really like this render. I think like it does a really nice job like leading your eye sort of around this area. Um, but yeah, so I think most of what I would play with is like maybe add some additional objects and then maybe just like twiddle with the color temperature of the lighting a little bit. Because I think you have nice elements of like, again, like I really am like liking this. Um, but yeah. Um, I think it depends. I mean, I would maybe try to use an HDR, like if you found one you liked. Um, test it with the portal lights. Um, 
if that's still like crazy noisy and is like bumping your render times up to <laughs> disgusting times, um, then yeah, maybe like think of whatever the weather's doing outside. Like if it's you know drizzly and rainy, um, then it might make sense to do something like a little bit sort of gray or bluer. Um, you could do an interesting thing where you like add a slight transparency map to your window, and then it would have like a drippy effect when it comes in. That could be a potentially interesting thing, especially in this uh, this specific render. Um, but yeah, and then if you're going for like sunny day, you might go with something a little bit like brighter or warmer, something like that. Um, but yeah, cool. Last call for thoughts. All right. Um, does anybody? So there is a distinct chance that we might run slightly over time. Um, is there anyone that has previous obligations that they need to run away to? All right. Um, what? Oh wait, we did your pro we did your project already. Okay. Okay. Um, so yeah, if we run over and you guys have to go places, um, you're welcome to just run away. Um, is there anyone that needs to leave that we haven't, whose project we have not gone over so far? Okay. In that case, I'm just going to keep working my way up the list. It seems like we actually only have like three more, so I don't think it'll run crazy over. Um, I will say, like, the reason that we are running over is because you guys have consistently submitted like more finals like than my other classes. So there's literally just like more to look at. So that's actually a thing that I am happy about in this case. And these are all also TIFFs. All right, wait, have we done this one? Great. All right, we have two finals left. Um, why did I? We did do that one, right? Yeah, we did. We did, I think. I think. That's fair. Um, it was. We've definitely done this one. OK. <laughs> Sorry. Um, all right, cool. So this was, why did you actually extract these? That would be great. Oh. Oh, psh. Aha, all right. And they're TIFFs. Oh my god, trippy colors. All right. <laughs> yes. Um, all right, cool. So. Anything we should know about the scene since uh, since last time? Cool. So wait, I actually have a question. Was the was the plan the whole time to put this bed here? Yeah. Holy crap! I thought it was just like a really skinny room. It actually didn't even occur. <laughs> like I thought this was like a back office where the person gamed and not a bedroom. Honestly, I feel like either way. Totally works, which is kind of cool. I open this, I'm like, whoa, you like rechanged your whole scene. I'm like, oh, cool. Um, OK, so and you rendered this in Unity, you said? Yeah. Cool. Um, all right. Sweet. So anyone have any thoughts, comments? This looks so different without that fake wall there. Um, it's like pretty cool, actually. It looks like you did a lot of stuff to like refine the lighting, where like the shadows it seems like are a little bit softer and more like realistic. Um, holy crap, this is so trippy, and I very much enjoy this. Wow, I do I do like weird colored lighting, but I think in this case it plays. It looks like the um, I think I think the fact that you see this pink light up here makes it more believable that like this blue light is not shining quite as brightly. So I feel like that, like having this shot like really ties all of this lighting sort of together and helps contextualize it. Nice beanbag chair. Um, yeah. Anyone have any thoughts and comments? So help me, I will pull names. All right, pull the names. Um, but yeah, I mean, I say like, as I, as I say, as I pull names, um, I think like overall, like this is a pretty nice scene. Actually, for some reason, I'm like, very much a fan. Like you did a good job, sort of capturing the um, sort of like not super brightly lit, like dingy office, but still like very clearly daylight look. If that's what you were shooting for. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. Last call for thoughts. All right, Jake. Do you have wait, Jake? Right here. Cool. Any thoughts?
Yeah. This is uh, low poly like in the Yeah. Cool. I'm not I don't really know too much about rendering like in engines, but the lighting is nice too. You can see like the shadow on the wall. Does that come from the lamp or is that from a different light source that you see? That's I think from the light outside the sunlight in Canyon Okay. Cool. Yeah. I was gonna say that does have a nice silhouette if no one else was gonna say that. Also, are these all, yeah. There's so many lights in that scene. <laughs> oh, I believe it. Um, I'm also just like, oh my God, Death Note, an Attack on Titan. Um, and Overwatch. Um, it is always fun to see, like if people populate rooms like this, to see like what, presumably these are all things that you like. Some of them and other ones, it was just, just like random, fair. Um, but yeah, it's always interesting until people populate those. Um, but yeah, so I mean, I feel like, I do feel like overall this is like a pretty successful theme. Um, I like that you've added curtains to your, to your wall. Um, that was a nice touch. Um, same thing with like the posters up here. Also like nice to think about like when people, you know, personalize their like bed space. Um, I still think, I, I like all these cans here. I, li I like the spilled games all over the floor. Um, I like that the spilled games aren't clipping through each other, um, which I mean completely unsarcastically. Like I thought that they were for a second, and I'm like, oh no, they're not. Cool. Um, I feel like maybe something about, and this is like a really stupid small thing. Um, something about this render, it feels like the messes are really localized, like this one part of the desk where you have like all of these cans, and then like all of these things like right on the floor, and then the rest is clean. Which mm -hmm. like, I don't know. I think that's just like me being like super weird and nitpicky, but it seems like very like localized with the clutter to like this one sort of area of, of the floor space. Um, but again, that's like pretty small thing. I do think that like overall lighting holds up pretty well, um, especially for the daylight. You do have a lot of like nice shadows and stuff like that going on. Um, so that's f always fun. Yeah. I don't really have a lot of stuff that I would like overtly be like this definitely looks weird and or needs to be improved like I think it's just sort of like overall nice looking I think if you if you wanted to push this farther maybe um go in and think about like the history of the room maybe look at like are there are there any like cracks or like stains paint on the wall anything like that um is there maybe like there's something happened to the floor in an area and it's you know been either like stained or rolled over or like worn down but like I think overall like this looks pretty nice um again there's not a whole lot that I would go in and be like ah oh, this should totally get fixed yeah any other thoughts all right um cool it's also interesting that I'm like oh yeah this light isn't even turned on in the daylight render is like and I'm like wow that probably took are these floating I don't think so. <laughs> Oh, it's a shadow, I think. That looks so weird. Because, yeah, there's totally shadows on the wall. That's very disconcerting. Totally fine. I just like weird, weird side thought. But yeah, cool. Good stuff. Um, all right. And the final project that I have. No, I still have mine. Oh, okay. <laughs> Dang it. All right. Well, as this one downloads, I'll go find yours. Um, I was like, yeah, okay, cool. Um, get that downloading. Thank you guys for like actually turning in your projects. Um, like in all seriousness, like I, I do appreciate that. <laughs> as silly as that sounds. Um, wait, these are uh, cans renders. Okay, ooh, did you do three lightings for this? All right, so anything that we should know about this before we look at it? Wait, whose project is this? Oh. Can somebody <laughs> Hi. <laughs> we have your project. Um, <laughs> anything that we should know? I assume it's been like a hard finals week. Uh, I have had zero sleep in the past three days. So, yeah. Oh, God. You want to give us a quick overview of your project so that you can hopefully yeah. run away and sleep? Um, my hero. Sweet. Uh, the only two objects that I did not do are the diner sign, mm -hmm. uh, the stool, and um, the jukebox. So 
Sweet. Um, all right, let me just real quick. Ha -ha. And did you do three lighting schemes for this, by the way? Yeah. Cool, cool. It's <laughs> third personal lighting scheme. Gotcha. I mean, I would have also accepted sunrise probably as daylighting. Um, probably, maybe. Ooh, cool. All right. Um, cool. So anyone have any thoughts on any of these renders? The angle of this one is super fun. Um, I feel like we have left it on the ceiling, and I think the only real downside to it is just the Yeah. Yeah. I do think that this is like, it's a good angle. Like, the lighting in this is good. It draws your eye, like, what it's supposed to be. I also like, I like this reflection a lot. I feel like maybe. It could be like the roughness could be a little bit taken down, like enough so you still see that reflection, but not so much where it looks like the the ceiling has been varnished. Maybe I don't know. Things to consider. Um, but yeah, also a cool render. Um, I think are these? Is this clipping? Uh, yeah. Okay. Maybe, I think, honestly, functionally, probably fine. Um, I think maybe if you like shifted the camera a little bit so that was like slightly less obvious and were covered, um, that would be good since that's like, for some reason, at least for me, one of the main things that I look at is I'm like, oh, like what, what cool detail here? And then I like see the clipping. So yeah. thanks, you too. Um, but yeah, I mean, I think overall the render angles are like quite interesting. Um, Baseball themes. I still think out of everything, like I think if you wanted to go back and do a resubmit for this, um, if these are, I might focus on like the table items a little bit. So like if these are the napkins, um, they look really thick. Um, you could just make a menu honestly and like swap the textures out um, if you didn't want to mess with that. I like the, the it's a neat pattern though. Um, and it still feels like maybe some of the silverware is like it looks like it, you went back and it looks like bent some of the, the like handles and stuff more. Yeah. yeah. Um, sweet. Yeah. So I might go back and just like maybe bend these like a little bit more. Um, the spoon still looks kind of um, not flat, but like not not quite like spoony enough, like round enough. Um, but I do I do think that they are improved from from the last time I saw them. Um, posters on the wall look nice. Um, what kind? So I'm looking at the edge of the chair. I like it. To me, it looks like a tortellini. Um, but I like it. Do you have reference of these chairs anywhere? Uh, no, not really. I kind Fair. of just based them off of um, the singular chairs. Which ones? The singular chairs. Singular chairs. Google wool things? Has that. Ha. Huh. Or wait, did you mean like these guys? Uh, I'm not entirely sure which ones are. Or do you mean like the, yes. the other ones in the scene? The one the oh, okay, sorry. Gotcha. Um, that makes sense. Small. Gotcha. Um, I, th I mean, I feel like the, the color works and it definitely is like the overall shape I think makes sense. Um, I think they usually have, usually have some kind of like cushion on them. Um, like, a, like a more visible cushion. Um, they'll a lot of times I think have some of this like weird sort of vinyl stuff. Except I think from the side angle, I think I see what you're doing. Where you're making like this sort of little lip here in in the booth. Um, yeah, I like these have a nice volume to them. Um, but yeah, so I mean, I think like overall, like the renders feel good um, to me. I think the scene feels reasonably populated. I really like that you've gone through and like done that little stack of like cups and plates and stuff. That feels like like a legit thing you'd see in a little diner. Same thing with the lights. Actually, I really like these. Um, Tiff. Also fun renders. Like pretty much anything with this in it, I think looks really nice. Um, Cause it's just like a well done object. Um, and then I think I would like, I would buy the differences, um, especially between like day and night lighting. Um, to me, they stand out as being different. Um, let me see. Oh, y'all. 
it's like maybe a little bit noisy. Um, I think one thing, and I, I can't tell because I don't think there's any like super up close versions of any of the lights except this one. Um, I was gonna say it might be like, I really like that you have these here. It might be interesting to um, either see these in other renders or see more clearly like the, the light coming off of them. Like if you put something like this next to a wall, you'd get like a nice little sort of um, rounded highlight coming off of it. But other than that, I mean, I think the lighting and like all the composition of these renders does look pretty nice um, and cohesive. And do it does a good job showing off your objects, I think. Um, anyone else have any thoughts? All right, cool. Um, but yeah, so I think if you wanted to keep doing stuff, um, maybe just keep, again, fiddling with the silverware a little bit. Um, and then working on the noise, I think, would be most of my other comments for that. It's still a great render angle. Yeah. Cool. All right. And Sana, your project, I believe, has downloaded. Um, have I missed anybody else? <laughs> All right. Speak now or forever hold your peas. Um, if you would like to go and sleep, you should go and sleep so you don't like fall over in the street. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> um, Have a good summer. Thanks, you too. Hey, uh, all right. Yeah, we've all done the crazy. Hmm? That's fine. No objections to this. Um, all right, cool. So anything besides that that we should know? Uh, this wasn't in a render. This is just maybe like Unity. Gotcha. So, and with HDRP, which is exactly why all of my shadows are really clumsy and don't fall properly, it's very strange. I don't really know how to do it. Gotcha. <laughs> I mean, I just know that like lighting in Unity is crazy, and there's been licensing issues, so that's not something that I'm gonna be super weird about for Unity renders. Um, this feels like hardcore interrogation right here. <laughs> Holy crap. Like <laughs> what is this? This is like a giant. Oh my God. Um, I do get death slam. For, for a second, I thought it was like a giant floating sphere of light. And I was like, oh my God. Um, but, uh, I do, I do like this angle. I think it would actually be funny to almost like play that up more. Okay. Um, like if there was, and I'm thinking like if there's a way probably by adding a crap ton of extra lights, if you could get in. Um, yeah, I really wanted to show off the mug, but I really <laughs> like very well. Gotcha. Um, but yeah, like if you could get a little bit more detail in here and then just like punch that light super bright. So it's just like, I am interrogating you, you <laughs> random person looking at this project. Um, I do kind of like that as a, sounds like accidental aesthetic. <laughs> um, but yeah, all right, Any, ooh, dice. Did you find the um, polyhedral, create polyhedral? Um, they didn't actually have most of them, so I had to just sort of make them myself. Um, but yeah, they have a lot of Oh my god. Yeah. Maya absolutely has these, I've they, used them. They what? They they absolutely have they D20s. Know. They do. <laughs> um, I'm getting like weirdly, no, I'm actually curious now, but like I totally, they def I think they, they have isosahedrons in, in Maya. They do, yeah. Um, which, which should be the shape for D20. The only ones that I've ever, ever had to custom model are like the, um, uh, I think it, some of the like D8s or something like that, but you should be able to go, ah, oh my God. All right, I'll get back to that. Um, either way, I like that you have dice in there. Um, nice. Um, I actually have no experience with D&D. &D. I just sell 3D printed dice. It's like my shtick. Um, hey, it lives. So you should be able to go to create polygon primitives and plat that's what it was, platonic solid. Um, and. Uh, I believe it defaults you to a D20. That's not a D20. It's not a D20? I don't think so. Wait. Yes, wait. Display, heads up display, uh, poly count. 
Um, and you can, like I said, you can swap these um, between, I mean, cubes, tetrahedrons, octahedrons. What the hell is a pi? Oh, I say, uh, dodecahedrons, etc. Gotcha. Well, that's questionable. Um, that's super weird. And for, well, I was gonna say it starts you with good UVs, and then I remembered, no, it absolutely doesn't. Um, you can make good UVs for this very easily. Um, but yeah, so things to, <laughs> I don't know. That's, that's kind of funny, but you'll remember that it's there now. Um, um, yeah, 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 no, I gotcha. Um, but yeah, which are, I like this little shelf full of like Moogles. This is like, I like this as a thing. I don't know, it just like, it's, it's like just an interesting little like, cool object that I like, haven't really seen in people's scenes before. It's kind of cool. Um, but yeah. All right, so anyone have any thoughts? Comments, lighting, models, layout, et cetera? All right. Um, in honor of you guys actually hanging around to the, to the overtime, I'm just gonna not harass you guys. Um, but yeah, so I mean, I think, I think like overall, like I do like the layout of the scene. Um, I think that to me, the shelves feel really nicely populated. Um, where it's like it's a really nice collection of like um, like different mangas, like different stuff that does feel like pretty natural to have, and like organized in a way that is like visually interesting and also like feels pretty natural in terms of like all the books are laid out, you know, unevenly that kind of stuff. Um, so I think that looks pretty nice. I don't know what the heck this background is, but it's cool. Um, it might be nice. So like you know, lighting and shadows aside, I think I think the lighting, like the overall light on objects feels good. Shadows, you mentioned, were kind of funky. Um, I don't disagree with that. Um, but I think I can, I can definitely tell the difference between, um, between the day and night lighting, partly just from color temperature. I feel like if you wanted to, you maybe could shift the, Never mind. Yes, never mind. Sorry, I thought some of your day renders, they looked a little bit warmer, and I thought that they were your night lighting for some reason. Um, and then this reminded me otherwise. Um, so where where is this light coming from? Actually, is this like an open door? Uh, no, no, that one's from the window. What? Yeah. Uh, that what? That makes no sense because you have if it's from the window, the shadow is going the wrong way because you're seeing the. I think it might be from the ceiling. That feels weird. I don't know. I'm just gonna chalk that up to Unity being eccentric but yeah that that the fact that the i think this might just be an instance of like you need to add more lights to get the effect that you want and like force global illumination like brute force it because this doesn't quite feel natural for like this i think it is the ceiling lamp but it doesn't quite feel like a natural way that light would fall um but yeah and then maybe maybe throw some other stuff in the the trash can or like knock this thing over aha uh, so yeah, Gotcha. Um, but yeah, so I, mean, I think I would focus on um, probably, I, I don't know if I do a lot to the room. I think I might um, go in and keep like playing with Unity and seeing if you can just like tweak the lighting a little bit. I think that would go the farthest to really sort of helping the, the overall look of, the, of things for this. Because um, I feel like the scene setup is reasonable and you do have like, I like this one where you have like that light sort of coming across the screen um, and across the desk. I think that's like a really nice little touch. Um, but yeah, so I think, again, mostly I would just work on lighting for this. Um, anyone else have any thoughts and comments? All right. With that, I'm fairly certain that that is actually the last of the critiques. So things are due Tuesday at midnight. It's been great having you guys. Have a lovely summer. Go be free. Most awesome.